he will do his like the, the show and so we went to that first meeting and then Ciro he's like he looks at Steve's and he looks at mine and he says Steve hit it right on the head hit the nail right on the head that's the way I want them and I started sinking in my seat <laughs> I was we, we won him over it was like yeah, yeah an hour and 15 minutes into the meeting, it's supposed to be an hour and a half, he's like, Ciro says, hold everything, just like, uh, you know, Jimmy Durante, most of you don't know who he is. <laughs> Durante <laughs> reference, really? Exactly, wow. he said, stop the music. And he said, you know what, this Don character is just like looking at me, it's like, it's weirding me out, and I, he says, I, we've got to have him like that, we've got to have him like that. So. Steve did tons of work into it, and I was able to bring in a little something as well to it. So it was like Steve yeah. and Ed again, oh, working together, making this thing Zero, Zero was also fearful that Ed was going to go across the table at him. You know? right. <laughs> so he would agree to anything at that point. No, um, no that's, and the other thing you guys pushed for was, when you talk about the articulation, is, hey, listen, this can't be the 80s, okay? I mean, you can't have the same articulation as you had in the 80s. You can look at it. Things have evolved. So you, you got to let us do some of this extra stuff that is going to cost you more in terms of product cost, but it, people demand more today, right. and and you did. That's what he did. Yeah, he yeah. figured out this it's articulation. Been an, it's it's been an interesting combination of old school and I guess call it new school, where the old school kind of feels fresh again. You know, the fact that we said it from day one: hey, you got to have not just figures, got to have vehicles. Got to have play sets, which nobody does anymore because they just kind of give it give to Lego. Uh, got to have role play, and you know what? Maybe that structure of an action figure line won't work anymore, but you, you got to give it a shot. And, you know, again, nobody's doing it anymore for the most part, so it kind of felt fresh again. Um, but it keeps coming down to screw all the mechanisms, all that other stuff. Bottom line is, Kids fall in love with these characters. You guys bring those characters to life, and that's always the key. Awesome. Cool. Well, hey, if you guys don't have anything else specific you want to talk about, I was thinking we could go ahead and open up the floor for questions for the last few minutes of the panel. Cool. Hands cool. right, Anzo, we'll go ahead and start over here. Now, a couple questions, real quick. All right. Do you intend to take the six-inch line and do more of the classic characters? April. <laughs> uh, there's one April we can sell. Uh, uh, yes. Um, it's, and I don't know if you guys, I'm sure most of you know, but Toys R Us also has their exclusive existing tool, uh, turtle stuff, you know, the four inch figures, the party wagon, the mech wreckers. Um, but in the six inch, yes, we plan on doing some of the other original characters. I mean, if I had to guess, and believe me, it's a guess. Uh, so we have movie one that'll be here, and then after that maybe Splinter and Shredder, that would be kind of the logical ones. Uh, maybe Comic Book Turtles, I, I don't know, you know, so we're, we're making that decision, because it is a 30th anniversary next year. And second, really, oh, this kind of archival question, I don't know if you remember, toward the end of the line in the, what was it, 91, around there? A little you know, later, but yeah. Well, things were winding down, you started coming out with some pretty obscure stuff, and hard to track down today, but... Um, you made some turtles that were a combination of a turtle and a dinosaur, and... Like Toy Story? No, not no. It was actually... Each and it wasn't turtle, prehistoric, each, huh? It wasn't the prehistoric. Each turtle was a dinosaur. It must and have been Shredder a was a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> she knows... Yeah, that's what he's talking about. It's real. And, yeah. and the question was, I think... Were they like transforming? No, no, they were figures. Um, See, so collecting like figures lost like a lot of brain cells over the years. Like, that one I wow. They're like dino turtles or something, but he, like one oh, was, was that uh, that one was a pterodactyl. That might have been fast forward. That might have been. Don Don was the uh, no. This was no way this, was, this was before that. All right, you guys got us because I. I... And my <laughs> question was, I only recall seeing three of the turtles. I wondered if. All four got either there. Sadly, you can't remember the series. So. Maybe. <laughs> yes, maybe. There, look it up. Okay. All right, next question. Right here in front. Uh, was, was there ever anything you guys designed that you uh, were sort of not sure about sales-wise or whatever, and it turned to be a, just a huge hit, and conversely, was there something you designed that, like, this is going to just make us millions, and, like, no one bought it? Oh, that's a great, great, great question. Um, and, 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 
you guys can remember too. I would say, and, and I know this is a more recent example, role play, all the, you know, most of the role play stuff has surprised the heck out of us. I mean, we, you know, we don't keep things short just for the sake of keeping it short. We just couldn't, we can't keep up with role play. It's been so much bigger than we ever experienced before. So role play in general, the whole segment. And the other one is the giant figures, the 11 inch figures, which is always kind of a secondary thing. I mean, it was like, yeah, it's, it's relatively popular over the first 20 years. You found it, didn't you, Michelle? TV commercial. Uh, okay, <laughs> Michelle, come up. I, I want to go on. We did a friggin' commercial? We did a See? commercial. <laughs> Just hit play. Snap it. She'll start playing. No, okay. Maybe she she should uh, introduce herself to the camera. <laughs> Who is this lady? Hi, my name is Michelle Ivy. I run Calabunga Corner. I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Love the lot. Yay Turtles! <laughs> <laughs> you right. yes, I know the turtles. turtles. I know I got Donnie and Mike. Right this is right after I left. I have um, <laughs> oh, that's why you don't remember. <laughs> uh, that was a great one. Michelle, um, I don't know. So sorry, going back to oh, and the giant figures, which have been on fire, uh, and you'll be seeing quite a few more of those from us as well. So I'd say those are the surprises. The failures, I gotta, I have to think a little bit more about that one. Um, well, you know what? Again, more current example. Uh, Pop up pizza playset was very disappointed. Um, oh, was it? Yeah, yeah that, oh, that one is such a cool place. Uh, was, and, and Ooze was relatively disappointing. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I saw that Kids these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, I have a story that's kind of like that's relative that's in a way. <laughs> and it's based on the questions. And as you know, some of you, that I was sculpting for He Man oh, figures. I was from like the second series on to even uh, some of the first. Uh, uh, he man the, the uh, thank you. So uh, when I was working there, there was this one project that everybody was excited about, and they said this is going to be like the biggest thing that happened to He Man ever. And he, they had this animal basically that had, well, okay, basically <laughs> these characters could ride on it and put their vehicles on it, and it was going to be like a ride on turtle character. It was like a prehistoric turtle. Huh. So they wanted to show it to John Ammerman, the CEO of uh, Mattel. Everybody was doing everything in their power to make this thing really look hot. So the curtains open and John Ammerman's there. Everybody's, you know, sweating it. And then he says, a turtle? A turtle? There's nothing exciting about turtles. This would oh, never no. sell. Oh. <laughs> they never made that that uh, right on figure. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, they were expecting uh, a lot of people. What, what year was this? Uh, 85. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, 1959. All right. Sharmas. All right. Um, you've probably been asked this question a lot in the past, but how did the idea of each turtle having their own color uh, with the original toys back in the day come about? Because that blew my mind as a kid. I was like, where are these different colors coming from? Almost from the beginning, because the biggest even when I when I interviewed playmates at the end of '86 and they passed the uh, I can't remember if it was the black and white comic or if it was the graphic novel. And they only had red you know, bandanas, but it was like, what do you notice about this? And of course, you all notice in an interview, and all I could, you know, they all look the same. And so from day one, the big thing was we have to differentiate these things to the max. And I really don't remember if. We came up with the different colors, if Fred Wolf's guys came up with the different colors, and we worked together on it. But it was like one of the first decisions made just to, to give the kid every possible reason to collect all four of the turtles. Uh, different personalities, weapons of course were already established, different colors, different color bandanas. Mouths too, I think, were different. Yeah, mouths were always different. different. Yeah. yeah. Matters on their belts. And, and I'm sure yeah. you guys, I don't know if it was you, or Handy, or uh, later Mark Taylor came up with the whole Grimace thing, but it was also a great way of differentiating yeah. from most other action figure ones. And the other, one thing we always say, and it's the nature of, of the characters that Kevin and Peter created, is it has that we call mutant mass. It just it feels like you know, there's something hefty in your hand versus human, you know, classic human proportions. And so it always feels like there's something substantial there. And I think that's been also just a, a 
very powerful reason. My kids feel like, man, this is this is great, you know, and, and I guess subconsciously, this is great value. So it's it's great for working with mutant characters, it really is. All right, we've got time for one more question before we end it right here. The sculptures, of course, were fantastic, like you said, all the little details. But like, what I loved about it most was all the, little, the details would have like little in jokes. You hide little things on the figure itself. How much mm -hmm. of that was, would, would you design that first, or would it just be the sculptor, or would there be kind of a communication between the two to make these little kind of gags on the sculpts? There was almost no, there was almost no difference because the designer was oftentimes the sculptor or you know sitting next to the sculptor yeah. at their place. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like putting the gecko on the yeah, putting yeah. the gecko on the on the club of the. I I just thought of putting one on there like and he squashed the gecko. <laughs> the yeah, and we can. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. But where's my nerd turtle? Oh, Your nerd turtle. turtle. Right here. Oh. oh, I mean, uh, taking off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were just having fun. I mean, I was, a, was, a, I was 18, 19 years old. There was a number on it. On it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was just having fun with it. I mean, yeah. Oh! <laughs> and the focus always was how do you infuse this stuff with humor? Because, again, we knew it was the differentiating element, but still make the characters look like they could kick. You know what? So that's why that surface detail and all those kind of in jokes were, were really important. We thought whether we never knew whether anybody noticed them. But and by the way, we couldn't afford to deco most of that, paint off most of that detail. But we figured, yeah, it's still there. It's still neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and our whole feeling always was, you should be able to look at the figure and and non turtle and say, a, that's definitely part of the turtle's line, and b, I know its role and its personality by just looking at it. And that was always kind of the objective. Cool. All right, guys, I think we're all out of time. So thank you very much for taking the time. You guys will be around, right? If anybody wants to ask some additional questions, are you going to be on the show floor and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah can guys. I have that people up in Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, on on uh, shelves and a monkey. Excellent. Okay.